Cutting, cutting, cutting. Now that we covered bulking, it's time to look at the other side of the spectrum. If losing that belly fat and fat everywhere else is your goal, would cutting be your best option? Well, all types of weight loss diets are essentially cutting programs. The point of cutting is first and foremost reducing your overall body weight. Of course, the goal is to have most, if not all of that weight to be body fat. So there's no big trick here. In order to lose weight, you're going to have to eat at an energy deficit up until you reach your desired weight or body image. Consider your TDEE, short for Total Daily Energy Expenditure, hovers roughly around 2000 calories. In order to lose weight, your energy consumption, or what you eat, has to stay below 2000. In terms of weight, every 3,500 calories is equal to 1 pound. That means in order to lose 1 pound per week on a TDEE of 2,000 calories, you have to cut down to 1,500 calories per day. Now, if you're a healthy individual that has trained for quite a while now, perhaps 1 to 3 years, going on a cut will inevitably cause you to lose muscle mass and strength regardless of your consistent lifting. This is mainly due to increased levels of catecholamines and cortisol, which will provide you energy from the breakdown of nutrients such as fats and amino acids, and the decreased insulin, which means less protein is delivered to the muscle and muscle protein synthesis rates go down. The net effect of this process is known as catabolism, and the longer you stay in a catabolic state, the more pronounced the effects of these hormones will take place, which simply means that the longer you cut, the more muscle you're risking to lose. Some experts suggest that having refeed days where you eat an excess of carbs will help reverse the effects of catabolism, so perhaps that once every two weeks cheat day might be beneficial to keeping your gains. For beginners, however, it's still possible for you to lose weight while putting on a great deal of mass with increased strength during a cut. This is the reason why many of you know that one former overweight friend that has gotten stronger and looked more muscular while dropping body fat at the same time. To expect this as a well-trained individual, however, would just lead to disappointment unless you do a method known as body recomposition. As far as how much you should cut, most health associations recommend roughly 10% of your body weight per 6 months, or no more than 2 pounds per week if you're not too overweight to begin with. Most of those calories removed from your diet might be best to come from your carbs, since typically carbs is the easiest macronutrient to adjust. If hunger and appetite becomes a problem, consider adding more protein and fats into your diet, since both macronutrients will help you stay more full. But even before you determine your results from looking at the scale, looking at the mirror might be a better option. Sometimes the scale might not budge, but the mirror will tell you the true story. Either way, if you're concerned with losing too much muscle mass and have time to spare on your cut, going on a slower diet of about 1 pound per week might help you preserve your sweet, sweet gains. I wanted to give a thank you to Nick for his generous contribution on Patreon and supporting me and PictureFit. If you would like to support PictureFit as well, come check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash picturefit. Thanks for watching.